Right everyone, uh, in this quick video, it's still Unicron video, but we're going to take a look at the kind of headpiece, how you display it with this kind of arc thing. Um, so we can take a look at that. I figured it's worth doing kind of on its own so people could see it because it's quite a small thing to take a look at. Just to try and split out the video as much as possible, really. Um, so I've got all the pieces here. And as you can see, I've got it on uh, this um, piece of fabric here, which is a Transformers vintage uh, curtains. So I've got a set of these. So this is one of the set. And I've been kind of using it to uh, put this on. So I thought it was quite good. And I might use it a little bit for reviews and things like that. Um, let me know what you think. Um, so let's find the old thing. Where is it? Ah, yeah. So you get these plastic pieces. I'm going to put the head off this one side for the moment. So you get this. You get this piece here. Uh, and it looks like you, you pick that. So it goes forward like that. There's then another piece here, so that pegs in there. And they've got it pegged in here, and then you've got this arc. Well, it's not the arc, is it? Um, but it's an Autobot shuttle, uh, but reminiscent of the arc. It's from the movie, and you see it's uh, yellow plastic or yellowy goldy plastic with silver paint in here. Uh, and just as a bit of a, a size comparison here, we've got one of the MicroMaster jets in. So it's the, they are, it's quite ditty. And then there's a hole in the bottom there and you just peg it underneath here. Um, and it goes on like that. And then you get the head. So the head, as you can see, there's like little slots in here. And there's slots in there and that corresponds with that. And it looks as if you just if you slide it in, looks like you just peg it over that, but um, yeah, on the instructions, it doesn't, it kind of shows you just pegging it down, but I'm a bit wary, I don't want to put too much force on it so I'm just gonna oh yeah it does just peg on there like that so it just pegs on I'll show you again just pegs in here over the top like that like so and then you can move this up and down the mouth still opens and closes you can actually remove the faceplate so it comes out underneath here so just get your nails in underneath here and pull that off and then you can get the face here the mouth still opens and closes and this bit still moves forward and then you've got this on the back here where you can move the eyes from side to side you can also replace the face with the battle damage one like that you can also replace the lower jaw which i've currently got underneath the base of unicron so i won't do that quite yet um, so that's that, um, and then you get these tiny little characters. So you get Galvatron in there and Rodimus. Now, if you'd got the weapons pack that comes with the Centurion drone, you would have got this. I don't know if you can see him. Let's bring him up. Tiny little Optimus here. Come on, focus. There we go. So you can pop that. There's these little slots along here. And there is actually three. No, 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 no. One, two, three, four, five. So there's some extra slots. So you can put in your little Optimus down in there. You can then open this up. Let's be careful with that. Then you can empty out your tiny little Rodimus 
any tiny little Galvatron. Um, I'll give you a close up of these. There isn't a lot to show on them. Um, come on. But uh, they are just painted purple. This one's just painted purple, really. There is a bit of sculpting in it, but on the original, there was a bit more detail on it on the original pictures shown. Um, but they seem to have lost that detail going through, so it's just painted purple. So you can then pop in your Galvatron. So he sits in there. Uh, same with Hot Rod. A bit more detail on this guy, but uh, still just painted red. Very hard to okay. And he will just peg into there. So I've put it so there's a space between all of them. So you got uh, Galvatron, Hot Rod, and then Optimus, and then this on here. This can rotate around. You can go up and down. Uh, this bit can also rotate around as well like that and uh, that is it essentially um, it looks as if there's a, another spot where you can plug in another display stand so it look potentially like you could kind of add to this and add other display stands so maybe if they have a Decepticon ship that comes off here or add it onto uh, another display stand and there's also little spots here for other little figures as well so I don't know if uh, if you've got any other little figures that might be coming up as part of a set maybe that you can add in there so that looks quite interesting i think maybe the arc comes with a little optimus maybe doesn't it but we've already got one in here but uh, yeah maybe it's to do with that so yeah essentially that is it uh just a quick look at the head and the kind of features around it and uh, next up we'll be uh taking a look at the transformation thanks for watching guys stay safe